Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we want to take a look at an upgrade guide and since I was the coach or like the trainer or like the expert for the Tower 13 update live stream, I know what I'm talking about. So today I will show you guys the best way and how you guys can upgrade Town Hall 13 to max to get the most effective way and to get there and well we will show that with a couple of statistics. Obviously, I think all of you guys know that when I'm talking about something, that I'm always showing the uh, showing you guys the reason behind that. And this is going to be the table which we are taking a look at. Um, and I think it's going to be amazing. We're taking a look at the buildings, the heroes, the troops, basically everything new at Town Hall 13. And well, there are a couple of crazy offers in here. Like I feel like a couple of those are way better than the offers of the Black Fridays. Um, I, like this one, like the everything must go. This one, everyone who is willing to spend un, any money basically on the game should buy this offer. That's it's crazy. Like one book of everything and one book of building. This is a crazy good offer. And I mean, I already said in the Black Friday offers, and I'm always honest when I'm saying like this is good or this is bad. Um, the Black Friday offers were pretty bad. But like this one specific offer is really good. The rest of those offers are pretty good as well, but I would not say like you should buy those or whatever. But this one offer, everything must go, is crazy. There's the Town of 13 pack as well, which like with the level 5 Royal Champ, the level 1 Skinner Shot and a couple of, a little bit of Dark Elixir. But uh, well, let's see whether we even need that because we have a cup, like a lot of stuff prepared as well. I will show you guys now how to upgrade. And if you guys would like to support me or... If you're going to spend any any money on the offers, make sure to go to your settings, more settings, and make sure to put this credit code in there. The credit code is going to be Itsu. And thank you guys so much for your support. But I think now we should get back to the uh, document. And if you guys want to like take a look at the document later, I will post the link for that down below in the description of this video, so you guys can check it out on your own if you want to as well. But let's go into it. First off, we're taking a look at the buildings. And I will have everything highlighted in red, which is super important. Like red means you should do this ASAP, like immediately. Whenever you're like, as soon as you're getting to Town 13, you should upgrade those buildings. Yellow means basically, well, those should be your next priorities. Like this is basically the next step after you finish with your red um, buildings. But let's take a look at it. Um, at the first one. I mean, it's kind of obvious that I had to highlight the level 1 uh, Tunnel 13 building because otherwise you're not Tunnel 13. I mean, that's a pretty easy one. The next one's going to be the Clan Castle. The Clan Castle is crazy. 45 troop space. This is super important and you can have like in your defense, which is going to be the main defensive um, setup, is going to be three Ice Golems. It's super annoying against ground spam troops and it's like, it's Balancing basically spam ground. So at the same time, it makes more um, freedom for air. So I think that's a nice to see and it works really well so far. So let's check out what should be your next building. Your next building should be the laboratory. This thing is super important for you guys getting your upgrades done. Um, I wouldn't use the a hero or um, a book or whatever. Um, let me start again. I would use a book, but not a hammer because it's not so expensive. And everything which is um, highlighted like in a dark blue on this uh, sheet means you should use a hammer on that. If it's like a light blue, you should use a book on that. So it's not only a guide on how you guys should upgrade, or like what is the first thing to upgrade. It always says or tells you guys what should be like uh, the first things you should spend your magic items on. So let's take a look. First one, obviously the town hall, after that the clan castle and the laboratory. And right after that it's basically um, the scatter shot and the inferno tower. Those two buildings are the key defenses for town hall 13. I highlighted the eagle artillery as, as well, because the eagle has basically the most value for a hammer. You're getting 18 million gold, 18 million and 18 days, which basically means it's the best building you can upgrade with a hammer on Tunnel 13 or one of the best, which means you should not spend it on Inferno Tower or uh, on the Scatter Shot, even though those buildings might be a little bit stronger. You should spend on the Eagle because that's the best way on how to spend your hammer, uh, your hammer, um, because well, that's that's basically the best thing you can get uh, for for using a hammer. 
So this is why this uh, why the eagle artillery is highlighted in blue. And like I said, as soon as you upgraded your um, your uh, how do you say that uh, your um, town hall and your clan castle, you can go with your eagle artillery. The next step is going to be, like I said, the scatter shots and the firm towers. Right after that, you should go with the expos. Expos are super important defenses against basically everything. Queen charges, Pekka smash, air attacks, like dragons, Lalo, whatever you basically want to throw at the base. Expos are already a really nice option to defend that. So expos should be your next step. On the same level as the Expos, you're having the new Town Hall levels. It's not like Town Hall 12. On Town Hall 12, it was like you're getting to Town 12. Your first achievement, basically, or like the first thing you had to do was to get your Town 12 to max because this means you get the Giga Bomb. But the Freeze isn't the biggest value on Town 13. Like I said, the Scatter Shot and the Inferno Tower are way better defenses. So those two are on the higher priority list, which basically means you can upgrade your Town Hall after the um, after the uh, scatter shot and the inferno tower with your expos together, this is basically all on one level. After that, you should go for more splash damage, like the wizard towers, and right after that for the air defenses because dragons are super strong. We will come to that a bit later when we're getting to, into the troops, but air, de um, air defenses are super important. The next thing should be the tesla, and well, like always, basically the last defense should be the cannon. That's basically the ranking order of um, the defenses. And I know I have traps over here as well. Let me check it out. One second. Um, traps are over there. I think you should place the new traps obviously kind of quick, but you should not uh, upgrade them too far. I feel like that's, that are basically wasted resources. Upgrade your defenses early. This is way better. And I think you should go for that. So let's take a look at the next category, which is going to be the heroes let's go heroes um for heroes it's kind of like a mix in between you have to jump in between a couple of heroes first thing always upgrade your warden warden is one of the most important heroes but it's elixir which, which basically means you cannot compare it with the dark elixir heroes which means the royal champ the queen and the king this means we have to compare the king queen and royal champ because the warden is different which basically means whenever you have enough elixir go for the warden level one is super important to get it maxed. But how do you go for the like for the remaining level? Basically what you're trying to do is get the Royal Champ really early to level 5 and then let him rest. With the le uh, level 5 Royal Champion, that's uh, totally okay. But as soon as you have him on level 5 or her on level 5, sorry, um, you should for sure go for the Queen. <coughs> get the Queen maxed with your uh, hammers and uh, books. To get her maxed but get the royal champ before that on level 5 so she's actually useful as soon as you, uh, you got your queen to level 70 you can go on with your royal champ the king is basically useless the king is basically the last thing which you're touching with the dark elixir for the heroes so it's level or like your steps are going to be the royal champ from 1 to 5 then the queen from 65 to 70 then the Royal Champion to Max, and then the King to Max. That's basically the steps to go with those heroes. And that's already it. Like, it's basically pretty simple with your heroes. So let's jump over to the troops. And on, on the troops, it's completely different than buildings and heroes, because on troops, you can basically do whatever you want. Once again, as on Tower 12, a lot of strategies are viable, which basically means you can upgrade your this troop which is supporting your own style of attacking so let's see how i will do it i will upgrade immediately the healer i will upgrade as fast as possible the balloon the dragon and i will think about the yeti the yeti is on the list because right now the yeti is close to broken so if you want to like still like get a lot of triples with him go for the yeti but i will go for healers and balloon first because i think those two um Troops are super important. I like Queen Charge and Alo. I like overall Queen Charges. I think Healer are a super important thing. I like Loons overall. So those two are really easy decision for me. I like the Queen Charge and Alo. This is why I go for Warbreakers probably as well. But um, like I said, the Dragons are basically the sleeper troop of Tunnel 13. I think if I have to go for a ranking of troops, the best troop is going to be the Yeti on Tunnel 13. The second best troop 
is going to be well either the healer or the dragon which might be surprising but try it out like dragons on tower 13 i'm telling you they are killing it it's super crazy tower 13 dragons trust me if you can take out with the royal champion like one air defense or something something like this they are <clears throat> I don't know, like on testing they were super annoying when you're trying to build bases because they were tripling basically everything. But um, let's see how bases will do and everything. But I think dragons are really high on the priority list. So this is why I will go for dragons as well because Queen Charge Dragons is a lot of fun as well. The next thing is going to be the Hawk Riders. Obviously, if you like Hawks or Miners, you should go for them for those really early as well. But it has to be a combination because if you're going for Miners or for Hawk Riders, you need to upgrade the heal spell as well. Otherwise, those troops won't get the value you want them to get. This is really important. The next thing is going to be, um, well, you can go for the skeleton spell, but it, you don't really need to. Like, it's basically if you're willing to, um, or like if you try to, how do you say that? If you try to um, save Dark Elixir and want to use your book of, um, your hammer book, then you should go, your hammer book, what? <laughs> your uh, hammer of spells then you should go for the skeleton spell otherwise if you do not need it just don't upgrade it it's basically the same with the jump spell like the jump spell the upgrade is super useless i would use i would upgrade the jump spell after i got my warden maxed this is the priority list right now so just the jump spell is basically nice to have but not really important because level 3 jump was already totally fine you don't need a level 4 jump like it's pretty wasted most of the time so that's totally okay and i think and i hope that uh, this tier list will help you guys to upgrade to tunnel 13 it's going to be the best way on how you guys can upgrade it and uh well i just hope that you guys liked today's video i hope uh, you guys enjoyed the couple of tips and tricks i could gave you and well i will see you guys in the next video if you will spend any any money on the uh, special offers, make sure to get the credit code. It's in there. And thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, see you guys and bye bye.